Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little, and we keep track of time. Being so serious, idiots, thinking it will matter. Keep me company downtown before the clock runs out. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome to friends and hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a day of cleaning and undecorating. It's probably gonna last all day. Um, there's a lot to do. I need to get the house spick and span because we're having a little birthday party for both of our moms this weekend. The house is pretty messy. Messy in the sense that it just really needs to be dusted and like picked up and there's a lot of just stuff everywhere like we've been having baby stuff come in and there's just a lot of stuff everywhere and stuff that I've been needing to find homes homes for and that I need to put away so there's just a lot of cleaning to do I want to undecorate for fall because this coming week I want to decorate for Christmas at least partially um, I'm gonna do all the Christmas decorating and then we're gonna get a real tree so that we're not gonna get that just yet um, I'm thinking maybe in like two weeks or so maybe something like that we'll get a real tree we'll see i got some new microfiber cleaning cloths i'm sure you've seen them in a video uh i had like a set of pink ones but they just run out so quick so i was like you know what i really need to get more and keep more in other areas of the house so i bought this big pack of them there's 50 of them in here they're like vacuum sealed i guess so i want to see how they are i'm going to open them now i don't know if i should wash them first what would you guys do? I'm going to see what they feel like and look like and smell like first to see if I should wash them. I mean, I don't know. But hopefully these are good quality because the pink ones are good. I've had them a while now and they work pretty well. If you could hear a saw going, um, we have Bobby's dad here helping us with the nursery, doing some stuff for us. Ooh. So weird. They smell fine. They look fine. I mean, I don't know. Would you guys wash them? I don't think I'm going to. Look at that. Look how many. This is exciting. 50 rags. And this was, they feel nice too. And they were um, affordable. Like, I think $13 or something. I don't know. I'll put it down below and I will put it in my Amazon storefront. <sighs> Speaking of that, I also need to get more dish towel like dryers. Um, if you know, I use to dry the dishes, I bought this like I bought two packs of these off of Target. It was five dollars for I forget how many in a pack, but I know they're small. But the material on them, they really work really well for drying dishes. I usually the most would ever have to use two, and I usually don't. That's only if I have a lot of dishes. But normally one will do it, and I don't know. I they just don't get sopping wet. Like if you were to use like. A dish towel like this which is what I used to always use so I just wanted to give a quick hello and yeah we're just gonna get right into it I have like two hours to clean it's one o'clock now at three o'clock I have to leave to go for a doctor's appointment when I get back I'll finish everything so it may be like a nighttime video as well because it's gonna be dark out by the time I get back so uh, let's just get right on into cleaning see what we could get done in these two hours and yeah let's go so as you can see, there's stuff everywhere. We've got baby stuff. We've got empty boxes. We've got 900 pairs of shoes all over the floor. There's more over here. That's why I say that. Shoes, 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 shoes everywhere. Just things everywhere. The couch is a mess. Puppy, puppy. Just everything's a mess. Um, stuff all over here that I need to put away. The kitchen, honestly, is not so bad. It's pretty clean. Not a lot of dishes. Just got to put these dishes away, give it a wipe down and all that. Uh, clean the floors in here and put all this stuff away that's on the counter. This is stuff I need to find a home for, this stuff over here. We have tons of stuff right here that needs to be put away. Yeah, it's just like putting away a lot of stuff and dusting because, like, look, this has a lot of dust on it. The floors need to be steam mopped, things like that. I need to clean the bathrooms, and that's really it.
I'm just starting here in the living room. I wanted to share these mats I got with you guys. I got them at Target. This is a kitchen rug mat, and I believe it was only $15 on sale, and the coil mat, I think, was $12 on sale. So I'm really excited to use them this season. So I'm just putting all the fall stuff away. I really don't even have that much out, but I am so excited to decorate for this holiday season coming up. I did pick out some Christmas music for this video, which you started to hear right before I started talking. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I didn't do every single song, but I did put some in there. So let me know if you enjoyed it. And I hope this video will get you up and get you motivated to clean your space and put away whatever fall decor you have to get you ready to decorate for the winter season or the holiday season or whatever you prefer. Dear, I think about how I'm so lucky to have a place that I can come home to. Yes, I am on my way. You guys know the dogs haven't been on the couch since September so that's been going really well I mean sometimes Freddie will jump on for a second but we tell him to get off and it's all good but they haven't been on the couch at all so there's really has not been any dog hair um, the couch is still due for a good cleaning so I'll use my Bissell machine somewhat soon just to give it a cleaning um, but wow what a difference the dogs not being on the couch it is so much more comfortable being able to go on sit on the couch cuddle on the couch and not get dog hair all over you um, not have it stink like a dog and also it just stays cleaner because no stains get on it from the dogs grooming themselves on there it's just so nice but I did want to say I still use that Chom Chom roller um, when I don't use the vacuum just because I feel like it gets you know any extra I mean of course some dog hair does get on there you know what I mean um, so it does get the dog hair off that's on there and I like how it leaves the lines on it it just makes it look nice it freshens it up a little so I still been doing that It doesn't matter 
please let me know in the comments what you guys use to clean your TVs. I said in, I think, my last video that a lot of times I would use those Windex electronic wipes and they do work super well. However, they dry out so quickly, way before the pack is even near done and even when the pack is closed. So I didn't have any of those to use and I had read online that using Windex is not great. So I really didn't want to use it on the big TV. So I Googled it real quick and it just said just a microfiber cloth is good and just rubbing it in circular motions. So I did do that and it did clean it a little, but I need some sort of spray that works well. So let me know what you guys use for your sprays on your TVs. see me move around this cookbook stand and all of these cutting boards 500 times because I was trying to figure out a way to keep them on the counter um, like that one cutting board you see there is a Long Island one and it was a gift and I think it's so cute and I would love to display it and I just also really wanted to keep my cookbook stand on the counter somewhere or somewhere out because I would have it in one of the cabinets and I would forget that I have it and I just never use it. I never remember that I have it. But in the end, I couldn't find anywhere to put it that works. I mean, I really could keep it out and put a book on it, but I don't like doing that because I've done it before and I feel like when you're cooking, like grease gets on the book and I don't know. I just can't find a solution that I like. So let me know if you have any ideas.
would also love your input on how you guys clean this out. I've only seen this way, and the other way that I've seen is, well not even seen, but heard that you can freeze it and then pop it out or something like that. Um, and also, I mean, I haven't been using wax warmers for very long, but you could see it's all brown. It like burnt the inside. Did I leave it on too long? I truly have no idea. One thing that I tend to do when I'm cleaning is I will take stuff that was in a different area and as I'm cleaning that area, put the stuff that doesn't belong there in a different area. And I kind of just keep moving it around until I get to the spot of where it's going. Just like you could see that, like that bin was on the island, those sodas were on the island and it just happens that way, but you know, whatever works for you, right? Um, but I gotta say, there's no better feeling than a clean dining room table. I just hate when it is filled with stuff and this table was filled for quite a while with stuff so I am happy to be cleaning it off and wiping it down and having a nice fresh clean area. I've tried sometimes, but you're making me nervous. No, I've realized that I can't live without you.
pretty sure this will be an unpopular opinion, but I love cleaning the toilet. The toilet and the kitchen sink are my two favorite things to clean. I just find it extremely satisfying. I don't know why. I also love using these Clorox wands. Um, I don't think I'll ever go back. I just find it so much more cleaner and I love that you could throw it away. I'm sure it's more expensive than just buying one thing and some cleaner in a bottle, but I really do love using it. Um, as well as these wipes. I know this is super wasteful and I really try my best to not be wasteful, but I really do like cleaning the toilet with these wipes. They're in the tub that you just pull out, the disinfectant wipes, and I just like to use like a new one on each part of the toilet. And I also keep them in the bathroom so that, you know, every day you could just wipe down the sink area when it gets all messy from toothpaste and all of that. And I know it's wasteful and it's better to use a rag and I'll use a rag on the sink, that doesn't bother me but using it on the toilet, I just really don't like. It kind of skews me out, so I try not to. So cause I'm hoping for that we'll fall in love in this winterland Could we fall in love in this winterland Wanna fall in love in this winter wonderland you guys a quick little update currently it's 7 30 is it no it's eight o'clock so it's eight o'clock now i got back from my doctor's appointment at like 5 30 ish around there and i am so tired and i have the worst heartburn right now like the worst i've been getting heartburn like every night but Right now, it is terrible. So honestly, I'm quitting for the evening. Um, unless I feel better and get like a spurt of energy, then I will continue on. But I haven't even tackled the upstairs, which really isn't that bad. I just have to do the bathroom, clean up, like pick up everywhere and clean the floors. So it's really not that bad. Down here is way worse. So the bulk of it's done. So it's okay if I finish that tomorrow. Uh, I guess I'll show you what I've done so far. Dining room table's all clear. Honestly, uh, these rags, they're like nice, but the pink ones that I have are better. They're like not as thick. Um, they're kind of thin. It's nice that you get 50 in a pack, but I think once I wash them, they'll end up getting smaller too. I don't dry them. The way I wash these, I well, I read online, so this is how I've been washing these and like the pink ones, is you wash them in hot water. Um, but when you dry them, you air dry them and you don't heat dry them because it like messes up the microfiber or something. So that's usually how I dry them. So maybe they won't shrink, but I feel like they still will. Um, I need to figure out a home for them because there's so many. That's why I keep moving it like from place to place as I'm cleaning. So I'm probably going to keep them in the basement with the rest of my cleaning supplies. Then the kitchen is all clean. Garbage needs to go out. This and this I need to put up there. I just need a step stool. I have to wash that out and do the dishes and then everything's good in here. Everything's all clean. This goes upstairs. Um, yeah, it's pretty good in here. This is all clean. Couch is clean. This stuff, um, it's just going to have to stay here for now. That stuff in the corner right there, that bag, that's why I put those Christmas mats there because that's all new Christmas stuff that I bought. So I'm just keeping it down here. 
for now because I'm about to decorate soon. So this is all baby stuff. Um, the nursery's not done. It's getting worked on, as you know. So just keeping that here for now. Until the party on Sunday, I'm going to have to move it. But all clean. All clean, all clean. Bins, they'll go in the attic as soon as I'm done filling them with fall stuff. Bobby's going to put this stuff away for me. This is all good to go. And then this stuff just has to go in the basement. Bobby's going to bring it downstairs for me. And that's it. I'm going to wash that mat. That's it. The bathroom over there is clean. And that's really it for in downstairs. Bobby's going to clean up the, you know, the garage area tomorrow or Saturday or whatever. And then, yeah, so then tomorrow I will just do upstairs. That'll be easier. Maybe I'll do some tonight. I don't know. If I do, I'll see you guys then. But if not, I'll see you tomorrow. got this literally the other night I got it off of Facebook marketplace for $30 which is great I don't love that it doesn't match everything like our furniture is basically white um, but I do like it and it works for now I wanted to get like the regular tall Alex drawers actually um, because I figure like if I get those I could always use them like somewhere else in the house like in my office or something so this is kind of just like temporary just for now but it's holding a lot of my stuff like it's holding all random stuff that i have it holds um like face um like skincare stuff hair stuff pedicure stuff all my hair tools things like that Cleaned down that made the bed even though it's super late it's okay i dusted everything so everything's pretty much nice and clean the only thing i have to do is clean the dog beds like take the covers off and wash them it's still cluttered in here because i can't do anything like this is baby stuff baby stuff baby stuff baby stuff over there well that's for my physical therapy the ball in the corner so i have to keep that there because i do it on the bed but baby stuff and baby stuff keeping in here because the nursery is being worked on give you guys a little update actually i can't because there's no light in here actually you can kind of see with the hallway but it is painted i've been filming the process so there will be a nursery video 
So yeah, the bedroom's good for now. I, I gotta give this mirror a Windex. But all right, uh, we are having pizza for dinner, so I'm gonna go pick that up now, and when I'm done, I will get back to cleaning. dead mouse with a tail. It could, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, now I've seen so many dead mice that... Yeah. I mean, one day there's... So we're just cleaning up the hallway upstairs over here. Uh, Bobby put all the stuff in the attic, which was great, and we got it all cleared out. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe. I hope you will click the notification bell so you don't miss when I post a new video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Welcome to the city.